current affairs headlines. India and Indonesia signed three agreements including cooperation in sports. Antonio Guterres sworn in as ninth secretary general of United Nations. International Mountain Day observed. Scientists create nano ceramic material for safer nuclear reactors. Viola Desmond to appear on new Canadian $10 banknote. World's longest tunnel opened for commercial service. Nobel Peace Laureate Jose Ramos Horta urged for peace in Jammu and Kashmir. Paolo Gentiloni named Italy's new prime minister. Current affairs in detail. India Indonesia signed three agreements including cooperation in sports. Agreement on youth and sports cooperation was signed. MOU on standardization cooperation between BIS and the National Standardization Agency of Indonesia was inked. Joint communique on combating illegal and unregulated fishing was fired up. The agreements were inked during Indonesian President Joko Widodo's visit to India. Antonio Guterres sworn in as ninth Secretary General of United Nations. General Assembly President John William Ash administered his oath to the office of the world body. Former Prime Minister of Portugal Guterres will take over duties from Ban Ki-moon on 1st January 2017. The former UN refugee chief was elected to the top job by acclamation in the General Assembly in October 2016. International Mountain Day observed. The 2016 theme for the day was Mountain Cultures, celebrating diversity and strengthening identity. The year's celebrations are aimed at highlighting the mountain cultures. Mountains cover around 22% of the Earth's land surface and play an important role in moving the world towards sustainable economic growth. Scientists create nano ceramic material for safer nuclear reactors. This new material is made of aluminum oxide nano ceramic coating. It can withstand high temperatures and the harsh effects of radiation. Moreover, it also becomes tougher under radiation. Viola Desmond to appear on the new Canadian $10 banknote. She will be the first Canadian woman to figure on a banknote. She replaced the Canada's first Prime Minister John A. Macdonald. She is popularly known for her struggle against anti-black segregation in Canada in the 1940s. World's longest tunnel open for commercial service. It will be carrying passengers under the Swiss Alps from Zurich to Lugano. It is the first flat low-level route through the Alps mountain. It has beaten Japan's 53.9 km long Seikan tunnel. Nobel Peace Laureate Jose Ramos Horta urged for peace in Jammu and Kashmir. He made the appeal on the sidelines of a child slavery abolition program of a NGO. He said dialogue is the only viable solution to resolve the decades long conflict between India and Pakistan. The UN Military Observer Group in India and Pakistan will play a key role. Paolo Gentiloni named at least new prime minister. Italy's Foreign Affairs Minister Gentiloni was invited by President Sergio Mattarella to form the new government. The decision comes in the wake of Matteo Renzi's resignation following a referendum defeat in the parliament. Gentiloni will now have to put together his new centre-left team before the parliamentary confidence vote which is due on 14 December 2016. For more on current affairs log on to jagranjosh.com